Hi everyone. My favourite story is Zog by Julia Donaldson. I love this story because all the dragons in the story remind me of the boys and girls in school learning something new every day. Hello boys and girls, my favourite book is Superworm! Am I going to read you a bit though? Superworm is super long, Superworm is super strong, watch him wiggle, see him squirm, hip hip hooray for Superworm! Hello, my favourite book, one of them is The Snow Spider and I love it because it's set in Wales around our beautiful valleys and it's magical and mystical and it takes me away to different places. I wonder if you can guess who loves this book. One of my favourite books is My Grammy is a Pirate by Val McDermott and Martha Robbins. And this is because I used to read it to my grandson a long time ago. And now I'm excited about sharing it with my two new grandsons that have arrived lately. The Wormy Spaghetti The next day to pay Mr Twit back for the fog, but trick. Mrs Twit sneaked out into the garden and dug up some worms. She chose big long ones, put them in a tin and carried the tin back to the house under her apron. At one o'clock she cooked spaghetti for lunch and she mixed the worms in with the spaghetti but only for her husband's plate. I wonder if you know what my favourite book is. In my favourite book, there is a family and they go on an adventure. You can't go over it and you can't go under it. Oh no, you have to go through it. I wonder if you know what my favourite book is. My favourite book is a story about how a person called Hiccup and his friend Toothless save the people on the Isle of Burke. Can you guess what it is? Howdy everybody, I'd like to tell you about my favourite book of all time. The book is called Anne of Green Gables. It's all about a little girl called Anne who's an orphan. And if you guess correctly of who's behind this mask, you'll know why I like her. Because she likes to talk a lot. One of my favourite story books is George's Marvellous Medicine by Roald Dahl. My class is currently reading another story written by this author. I love it because my favourite thing to do when I was younger is go into the bar, collect all the different shampoos, conditioners, hand washes and soaps that I could and make my own creations and potions. Here's my favourite part. Slowly he began to pour the thick brown stuff onto the spoon. He couldn't help thinking back upon all the mad and marvellous things that had gone into making this crazy stuff. The shaving foam, the hair remover, the dandruff cure, the automatic washing machine powder, the flea powder for the dogs, the shoe polish and the black pepper, and the horseradish salt and all the rest of them. Not to mention the powerful animal pills, powders and liquids, and the brown paint. Open your mouth wide, Grandma, he said, and I'll pop it in. Now, I may look like a hot dog diggity dog, but my favourite book is based on a different kind of animal. And my favourite book is called Goldfish Boy. Now, Goldfish Boy needs to overcome lots of challenges, and challenges which means he steps outside of his comfort zone. I think you should give Goldfish Boy a try, because he is the last person to see the baby next door before it goes missing. Ooh. <gasps> I think you should read. You have a good look at that book and tell me what you think. But who am I?
Once upon a time, words began to vanish from the language of children. They disappeared so quietly that at first almost no one noticed, fading away like water on stone. The words were those that children used to name the natural world around them. Acorn, adder, bluebell, bramble, conquer, gone. Fern, heather, kingfisher, otter, raven, willow, wren, all of them gone. The words were becoming lost no longer vivid in children's voices, no longer alive in their stories. You hold in your hands, if you choose to read this book, a spell book for conjuring back these lost words. I wonder if you can think whose favourite books this is.